Hey, this is Erin from Creative Eye Chalk. I wanted to talk about our surfaces and what to do when you have a design that you don't want anymore and you want to change the design. So I just wanted to go ahead and do a quick video, um, show you a couple things, putting the design on, removing it right away, as opposed to waiting maybe a few months and taking it off later and um, seeing different tricks you can do to remove that design. So what I'm gonna start with is um, actually putting a design on a test surface that I have, and we'll just go from there. Just gonna put that down, and this is just a test, so I'm not even gonna be that concerned about making sure it's straight or anything like that. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is take out my chalk paste, and it is washable. It's semi-permanent, so um, I can put the chalk paste on the design, wash it off right away, it comes right off your fingers and everything just with some water. Um, but first thing I'm going to do, I haven't used my orange in a little bit, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water to that to make it a little bit creamier like yogurt. Um, this not only helps the chalk paste to go on smoother, but it also um, will allow the chalk paste to last, last a lot longer. Um, and then my white is, apparently I have my other jar of white in the other room, so this is like the very end of this jar that I'm going to use, so I don't even have to add water to it. I use my white every day. So, um, so what I'm going to do with these words, put on the chalk paste, take off the excess so I don't waste any of it. Want it to be nice and smooth. I'm done with my white and now I'm going to move on to the eyelashes. Um, I don't worry too much about putting too much on because I just remove the excess anyway. and. Um, you know, I like to be wise and frugal, so no use, I no sense in wasting the chalk paste if you don't have to. Um, and what you're just doing, you want to be able to see the design under there to make sure that you got all the different edges. And you can see, I've already gotten some on my fingers, so um, I lift that up. And over to the side over here, I have a little bucket of water, and I'm just going to put that in there. And then, same thing with the next one, just going to put that in. Um, you really don't want the chalk paste to dry on the transfer, so putting it in water right away is really the best thing. I have a little mark over there that I just dried off with a dry cloth because the chalk paste is still wet. Now if you look at that, look at how clean and crisp that is. We used a reusable silkscreen transfer. So that transfer, I made quite a few makeup bags um, already this year with that. And it looks like there's plenty of life le left to it. But say I said, oh, that's not really centered. I want to do that over. I don't like that. You can just wet your surface, or I could have wet the cloth, and start wiping it away. Now, once the design is, is dry, it takes a little bit more work than that. But this is so nice. If you put down a color you don't like it, or... Um, you see what someone else did and you want to change one element of the design, you can do that very quickly and easily. Um, a lot of our surfaces are actually two-sided, so if you uh, wanted to put one design on one side, one on the other, and a few months later change them, um, you could do that. You don't have to keep buying new surfaces all the time. Now this Be Your Own Kind of Beautiful is one of my favorite transfers. Um, and 
this one has been on there for a while so I will show you what happens after it's been on here for a little while so you see it takes a little bit more work to get that off of there but just water I don't even have soap or anything on this Okay, so this one's actually cleaning up pretty good. I still see a little bit of what we call ghosting. It's not real noticeable, but one of the things we can try is a baby wipe and see if that gets rid of any of the ghosting. So I'm putting a little bit of pressure on there, trying to get rid of that the ghosting and I can still see a little bit of that shadow in there maybe not as much as I did before but honestly it's not enough that anyone else that would look at that sign would notice but I'm trying to see if you could see on there but it's enough that with me working on the design I can see the difference so what I'm going to do is take one of our board erasers, which at first I used a mystery eraser, and they work very well, but for ghosting, they just didn't seem to do the trick. So I ordered our board erasers, and I was very surprised at how much better it did at removing the design and getting rid of the ghosting. So I cannot see the old design on that at all. So now this is a design I did the other day as a quick de demo. Together is our favorite place to be. It's another one of my favorites. And I'm going to try to remove this since this is several days old. I'm going to try to remove it, see if I end up with any ghosting at all. Okay, so this board is a Hobby Lobby board. Um, you know, just a regular chalkboard from Hobby Lobby that we all love to use. Uh, and there is no ghosting. When I first started taking it off with the board eraser, I could see a little bit of ghosting on there, but I just rubbed it a little bit harder again and it all came off. Um, but one thing I do when I use any board that's not from Chalk Couture, I use um, wax on there. I put a light coating of wax. We have uh, Chalk Couture has little tubes of wax that are very quick and easy to use. And then um, if you don't have that, you can use Min Wax, which honestly I use both. I do lots and lots and lots of projects. I do custom projects for people. I do vendor events um, where, you know, I sell at shows. And then um, here at the house where I do workshops and I do classes for people. So I end up using a lot of wax. So I use both the min wax and our own. Now I will show you this board. That's also either hot, nope, this one's actually from Michael's. This one, you could see that shadow or the ghosting on there. It says, in all things give thanks. It's a design I did at Thanksgiving time. And this is the board that made me think, okay, I'm gonna need to do a little video to show people <laughs> because that to me is noticeable whether, um, whether it's going right back up on my own wall or I'm going to sell it at an event. I do not want that showing. I don't think that that's quality. So I am going to try our eraser on this since this one has been sitting. It sat 
you know, since Thanksgiving with that design on there, and it was a high pigment design, so that takes a little bit more work to get it off. And then I already tried getting, you know, getting it off <clears throat> with a couple different things, so let's see. Okay, so this board is a board that I got at Michael's and I actually don't think it's as good quality as the ones that I found at, down at Hobby Lobby. Um, I did not wax this board. So when I was down in Georgia, um, I made a quick sign with my granddaughter and I did not wax the boards and then I let the design sit on there for a couple months. So when I took off this design, you can see a lot of ghosting on there. So this board may not clean up very well because I didn't wax it first. And this is a reason why you're gonna wax your board. If you're not using a chalk a tour board, you need to wax it if you're ever gonna change the design. We recommend waxing anyway to help the transfer be um, easier to remove, but I just want to see if I work hard on this board, if I can get rid of that ghosting. I've already tried a baby wipe. Actually, it looks like some of the color of the Michaels chalkboard is coming off. So. see I'm gonna look at this one spot where I pressed a little hard so it's definitely coming up some of that ghosting is coming off and it's making it more usable that maybe I would use it personally again um, but that would not be acceptable to sell to someone um, you would have a couple options at this point. Now, of course, you don't have to worry about this if you're not changing the design, but um, if this were me and I wanted to change the design, I would probably paint over this board. I might even change the color to cream or white and distress it a little bit, um, but I would not use this again in this condition. So remember, Two things, wax your boards if they're not chalk couture boards. Chalk couture boards are already okay to use. And the other thing is use the board eraser that chalk couture sells um, if you want to change your designs.